My name is Daniela Decker. I am product specialist for the new FENAP product, the crop care product, which are the spreaders and the sprayers. And today, together with my colleague, Pavel, we are proudly present you our brand new Atlantic spreader. Hello everybody, my name is Pavel Dvořák and I'm a product application specialist for the new VENAP, uh, uh, let's say spreaders and sprayers, group here, same as Daniela, responsible for several countries. Why we developed a new spreader? We have a fantastic range, we set the trends many years ago with our GeoSpread. It's the best spreader we have, we, we have on the market and we would like to set the trend again. We would like to add something in precision in the capacity and this, this there we are introducing new model top model in our range to extend geospread range to let's say one step further that's that was our task to, to do the next step and then therefore we will introduce you atlantic spreader as a top model so that's why we have developed a new spreader and as you can see there are still a few d3 printed parts on the spreader Today you have the privilege to see one of the first Atlantix machines and we are waiting for the parts to start production. Yeah, the name Atlantix it comes from Latin from the word Alentir and that means to nourish your crop. That's what we do with the spreader. During the development process of the spreader we had to keep the focus on the five keywords which are very important for spreading. We kept the focus on precision spreading, on fertilizer management, on intelligent electronics, yeah, the design. Okay, for sure. Uh, as you see, nice, modern, good looking, uh, shiny uh, design. But we also say not only durable design, we also say, we also say functional design. What does it mean functional design? All these nice, shiny parts has also some functions. For example, you see the side cover, back cover. When I will open the back cover, I can flip it and transfer it to the filling platform. Last. From, safe. From this position, I can easily open my big bag. And uh, on the platform, we have a multiple position for, let's say, uh, for stepping in, stepping out. For UK and Europe. <laughs> Left and right hand. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, you know, uh, in some cases when the uh, customers are filling the spreader with two big bags, they don't want to stand below, uh, below the beam, uh, below the loader. We have also a position here. We can we can stop step here for also for filling for for inspection. Okay, you can see I open the grid, I open I open the cover, and under the cover we have a we have a. Uh, hand wash tank for customer use. Also, we have a storage locker for fertilizer analyze set and for some other belongings. And also, part of the night design is the side side shifted uh, mud guards. You can you can take them off very easy. Just press the button, click them off, and you can also for accessible for cleaning for maintenance. Even when the machine is very close to the tractor, it's hitched and it's hitched. That's about these covers. Also, what we have else? We have a, we have here. We have a parking legs, which are fully integrated. Forklift pockets for storing or for manipulation. From front, we have a, uh, we have a quick hitch, and that's part of design. And what is not visible. But what we, this is one part what we copied. Yeah, this one, this part we copied. From whom? We copied from bees. You know, a clever insect. Yeah, we need them. Farmers need them. And we we learned from them that we have we use this honeycomb shape grid because we learned that the clever bees would like to store the honey very efficient way. And the honeycomb shape is very rigid, very stiff. And also you have a big capacity to store the honey. And we learned that when honey is a good capacity for honey, it will be also a good capacity for flow. For flow. Yeah, that the flow of fertilizer will flow through the honeycomb. And then on the small surface, we can keep a big flow. And also it's positioned in the angle. This means that when there are some clots, it can happen. 
that will be uh, it will be uh, uh, will be placed in the, on the site for better for better cleaning. That's really clever idea we used from 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 me. I will take also this. You can see the nice shiny aluminium aluminium uh, aluminium uh, uh, hopper extensions. There we also we are using the chamber uh, chamber profile, and also it's very easy to connect it and put it on. And then, as you see, as you can see, and I will hold it like this, this is inside, and you see no screws, no obstacle, no rust, no blockages. And that's a very clean surface for the fertilizer flow inside the hopper. That's also, I think, a very clever idea. This is all about design, and now we will speak about, uh, Daniela will tell us something about the technology, what is not really visible, but it's a very important part. Daniela? Yeah, I will start with explaining our unique weighing system. We already have a unique weighing system and we challenge ourselves to improve it. So, we have kept the well-known four load cells and we position it differently. We position it in the X shape. In order to be more precise when you're spreading in hilly conditions. This is your spreader and you drive in hilly conditions, your fertilizer goes from the left to the right. And with the load cells in this position, they will weigh very precise. On top of that, we have a new dual reference sensor, including an inclination sensor to make the spreader fully ready for the TIM functionality. With the TIM functionality, you can keep your spreader in the right position behind the tractor during your spread job. Maybe one point to add the name of the weighing system. Because uh, it's four weight cells, X shape, that mean name is a 4X way. That's the name of the weighing system. Exactly, thank you. Um, so this is um, a technology in the spreader which we have improved. Now Pavel will explain something which is really new. This is our new, new dosing system. It's really new. We did it from scratch. We have two patents on it. One is for shape and second is for mechanism and for linear movement. If you can see here, when I will, I will simulate the movement of the actuator, you can see the positioning of the hole when, I, when it's uh, almost closed or fully open. The center is always in the center. This means when we are closed or open, we have the same direction of flow always in the center and this means that it's not influencing discharge point and spreading pattern during the spreading. And the name of this uh, dosing system we call it rapid rate. Rapid means fast. Why fast? Because we are driving fast now. We have tractors are very suspended everything, suspended uh, axle, seats, cab, everything. Sometimes sometime a crazy driver inside and catching the time and we are try to drive on maximum speed also when you drive maximum speed and you also need to slow down speed up because of conditions and then we need to regulate fast as much, much as possible to have uh, the right dosing every spot on the field second thing as I mentioned in the beginning we are setting the trends one big trend nowadays is a variable rate based on prescription map imagine when you have a prescription map with the different zones of the different dosing and you're driving fast 20 25 km an hour and you really need to have a really fast movement of the fertilizer of the fertilizer flow to follow the right dosing every moment on the field therefore we developed this one uh, to have it fast to have it precise always in the center remember it that's that's uh, our rapid rate and we say that it's very fast that from the fully open and fully closed it's a time like you say rapid rate. That's so, such a fast. That's our new dosing system. We have a dosing system, and now we have something more. Daniela, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm going uh, to explain <coughs> the biggest improvement that has accuracy of spreading moved forward, and that is our well-known rotor flow principle. It's currently the best spreading principle of the market, and we have challenged ourselves to improve it. So we already had 20 steps of settings for section control and full field spreading, but now we have the Rotorflow 100. 
Y100. Because now we have 100 steps of fine settings to be precise and spreading. On top of that, we have a new spreading disc. We have three spreading discs for different working widths. And the spreading disc is existing about in two parts for easy, for easy and quick changing. There are eight veins on the spreading disc to have a very frequent spreading pattern. So all of we have explained until now makes the Atlantix a very smart machine. But is it still easy to use? Yes, of course, uh, as usual for Kvanwan machinery, because uh, as you know, some of you uh, for sure, that you know that our machines are Iserbus compatible. And uh, for this, we have a very nice, clear, intuitive and logic uh, user interface on our, on our screen, on any screen from any uh, Iserbus terminal supplier, and just to press the button and go. That's very easy. Nowadays, also setting is very easy because the machine is equipped with the Kvernland sync. This is our module for connectivity. And when we, when we do setting, we will fill our smart app with the parameters of the fertilizer because we, we keep setting based on fertilizer properties. Then we fill it, we fill the parameter working with and etc. And then find the safe, uh, the app will find the best match. And then pressing the button via Bluetooth, we can send the setting directly to the spreader memory. And then for the for the farmer, he just you uh, will just uh, select the job, press the button, and go. This is very convenient, very easy to use from this let's say working perspective. Also, everything is electrically operated. This means for connection, we are connecting PTO or two or three hoses for the hydraulic drive and one isobus cable because the rest is electrically operated as a trim flow as a central border spreading deflector also hopper cover everything is electric directly from the screen for parking as i mentioned already during the explanation of design we have the parking parking legs uh, forklift pockets and also what is very very important as i mentioned uh, the machine is very close because imagine imagine this machine has a capacity almost five tons plus weight it's a five ton and every centimeter counts we move it to the tractor to, pull, to move the center of gravity to the tractor that means that if we push it as much as possible we have no space for hitching to be to go inside therefore we develop the quick hitch for easy safe automatic quick hitch we just put the, put the hoses move for backward click click and the machine is hitched also for the maintenance point of view you see everything is nice covered machine looking nice nice we can open it we can dismount very easy in mud guards side covers and for easy cleaning and for maintenance we kept only few greasing points uh, we have only greasing points on the actuators uh, which you, you need to grease just uh, one or two times per season no more and there is nothing more to maintain because to reuse downtown, to 